There's a return to a do-it-yourself spirit at the South by Southwest Interactive Festival in Austin, Texas. 3D printing startups and DIY companies are becoming very big business. Ginger Vaughn reports. South by Southwest is a perfect opportunity for entrepreneurs and emerging techies to show off new creative concepts. This year, the latest do-it-yourself gadgets and products has people lining up. Growing demand for customization has pushed designers and inventors to make technology that lets their customers make what they want by themselves, anytime and anywhere. Like this do-it-yourself record player maker, which can record a song on a vinyl record in real time. Any audio source, we can cut a groove of uh, any custom music or audio into a blank vinyl disc. Do-it-yourself machines like this MakerBot 3D printer run for about $2,700, and those in the business say it's a money maker. Michael Scott Nelson from Goucher College says 3D printing is a hit among creative college students. So the plastic is fed from behind the printer into these two extruders. The extruders melt the plastic onto this plate and uh, create whatever 3D model is fed into the machine. Uh, it's just about to start printing out uh, one of these little sh sharks. Ruminate is a company at South by Southwest that makes DIY building toys aimed at girls to increase interest in science, math, and engineering. I sat down with Alice Brooks, who started the company with a friend just two years ago when they were Stanford University engineering students. When I was eight years old, I asked my dad if Santa Claus could bring me a Barbie, and instead I got my own saw. So I would make dolls and doll houses out of wood and nails. And we saw that a lot of girls weren't getting that same exposure to building and creating. The two focused on the do-it-yourself kids niche. And in just eight months, they were able to raise enough money through Kickstarter online crowdfunding and get their product to market. It's now selling fast on retail sites like Amazon. Dylan Tweeney, an expert in DIY innovation, says he sees more ideas starting from small workshops like Ruminate booming. It came out of a very hands-on kind of DIY kind of project, right? They were making these prototypes themselves and, um, and decided, you know, let's make these kits into a mass market item. And then they went to China and got it manufactured and now they're selling out. Customization is no longer rare or risky, but rather a growing trend and those at South by Southwest are showing they've caught on. Ginger Vaughn, CCTV, Austin, Texas.